So hello and good evening, this is Responsuelo from Curval.com and it is finally time again for a new DAX Fridays. And uh, today's DAX Friday is a little bit special because I'm going to cover a function that really does not exist. And uh, don't worry, I haven't got too much sun during my vacation. What I'm actually going to do is to show you how to replicate the network days that is available in Excel using DAX. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this video was requested by Levon Tan. Not sure that I'm saying your name right, probably not. But he asked me for five days ago if I actually had a video for how to calculate working days between two dates. And that's basically what network days does in Excel. And there is no function in DAX, so I'm actually going to show you today how to recreate that function using DAX. So without any more delay, let's go into Power BI and start doing some work. So here we're in Power BI and what we have here is a calendar, a normal calendar. So it goes from a specific date up to today's date. And uh, what we have here that we are going to need is actually the sort day name. Okay, so zero is for da, 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 Monday and six for Sunday. So zero, one, two, three, four. So the days are named with these numbers. And uh, another thing that we perhaps want to do when we want to calculate the difference between two dates, working dates, is to actually remove the holidays also. And for that, we need actually a holiday table. I just, for the demo's purpose, downloaded a holiday table for 2017 in Sweden, but um, you can download the table for any country and any years you like. Where did I find these? I just Google it. Let me show you. So here you have it. I just went and asked for weekends 2017 in Sweden and then I get, got this table. I just copied it into Power BI. Um, I'm not sure if there is actually any service where you can get the holidays based on country. I should probably check that out. But if you know, just leave me a comment uh, and uh, so everybody can, can actually see it. Uh, but uh, this is a, a little bit more manual way to actually get the holiday scene. So let's go back to Power BI again. Okay, so here we are back and what we have here is a calendar view and then we have our holiday table. And we need, of course, to join these two. And uh, we will join them by date. And yeah, with these, we can actually start doing some math let's see okay so let's do a calculated column that will return a one when the day is a working day and a zero when it's a holiday or a weekend so for that let's call it work day equal if or and then we go to our day name so we say if day name equal five that is a saturday or day name equal six which is a sunday then zero okay so it is if it's saturday sunday give us a zero now Otherwise, it will give us a one, but we're not going to write that yet because what we want is to have the check for the holidays, right? So we go and write a nested if is blank and then related. So we're going to pick up the column name from the semester uh, table. And if that column has a name, the name of the holiday, it means that it is not a working day. 
But if it doesn't have a name, it means if that is cell is blank, then it's a working day. So we say if in that column is blank, then one. Otherwise, zero. And let's see what we've got where they are. So here we have, so Friday is one, Saturday, Sunday, zero. That is correct. Okay, so now let's check how is it working for the holidays. Let's go to the 1st of January. It should be holiday. And it is a Sunday, so that doesn't work. Let's see what we have. Sunday, Friday, 6th of January is a Friday. Let's check that out. So, six. Here you have it Friday, and then it gets a zero because it is a holiday. So, you see now you have a column that says zero for holidays and weekends, one for working days. So, the rest is actually quite easy to do. Let's go back in here and let's put the date so we can see. And now we put, we create a measure that calculates the um, working days, right? In between dates. And now how to actually do that depends on how your model looks like and uh, exactly how you wanted to calculate. I'm just going to calculate the difference between whatever days are left in here and we can put it working days there but let's calculate a measure we create a new measure we call it oh, not met network days and that will be a calculate we're going to count uh, the number of days and we just filter the date table to those days where work day is equal one. Doop, doop, doop. And of course it will give us the same as just adding up for that. But you see, if we remove work days, there we will just get the days that are actually working days and nothing else. And then adjusting the filter, of course, we'll count again the number of days. So uh, yeah, I, ho I hope that this helps you recreate the network days using DAX. Okay, so another Friday is gone and another DAX Friday is done and ready. So I hope you have a really, really nice uh, weekend or holidays if you're on holidays actually. Just because I finished mine, it doesn't mean that you, you're not on holidays. So um, Again, if you like the video, just let me know by liking it as usual. If you know somebody that needs this calculation, just share it with them. And uh, make sure you subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, where on Fridays I focus just on DAX. Just as a reminder, as I usually do, make sure you click the bell to receive notifications when I publish a new video. YouTube has changed the way it works and unless you click that bell, you will not get a notification, okay? So have a great vacation and a great weekend. Bye!